now cover variables and loops. Pause and read this if you want, but basically variables are just like mailboxes and it's basically setting a word as a number. This is the code we're going to go through. Basically it's like the addition code, but instead of inputting the two numbers we want to add ourselves, we'll have them preset as variables. So this is the code. If we run it, as you can see it outputs 35. Um, so what it does is load the variable first, which has been defined here as the number 12 and then it will add it to the variable second which has been defined here as the number 23 and as we know 23 plus 12 is 35 after it adds these two numbers it will output that number and then end the program in NMC all the variables are defined at the bottom of the code and you use the word dat to define the variable so if you wanted to add our own variable we just type third dat third can be any word you want this is basically going to be the name of the variable and then you put in the number you want so let's put 45 and we'll have it output that so we're going to load third and then out third and now we're going to run the code and it will output number 35 which is these two numbers added up and then it will just load third which is 45 here's another example of variables being used in this program we're going to set whatever the user inputs as the variable any word and we're going to then output it the way you do this is by naming a variable, putting dat after it, but then not uh, putting any number, so we just leave that blank. So if we run this program, it will tell the user to input something, input, and then it will just output the result. In these basic programs, dat isn't very useful or necessary, and mailbox are probably better to use, but dat is useful for having preset data or easy to remember variables. It's also very useful in more complicated programs which have loops, which I'm going to show you now. We will now go on to loops. This will allow a program to create a section of code and this will also help you in reducing the length of your code and allow you to create more complex things. Um, you can just pause and read all the instructions here but basically BRA stands for branch always and this will mean it will always repeat the section of code and BRZ stands for branch of zero which will only repeat the code if the number in the accumulator or the number you just loaded is zero. This code will output a list from 10 to 1, and this is the code we're going to go through now. So before I explain what the code does, I'm just going to run it. So as you can see, it just starts, it prints out 10 and then just goes down 1 every time and then until it gets to 1 and then just stops the program. At the bottom of the code, we have two variables, x and y. x is set to 10 and y is set to 1. The code will load x and check if it is 0. If x is 0, it will go where end is. As you can see, end is on the line where, the halt, where we halt the program. If x is not 0, it will just continue and output x. It will then subtract y from x. Since y is 1, it will basically subtract 1 from wherever x is. The result is then stored as the new x. Then we have BRA, which will basically loop the program to wherever the word loop is defined. This will start the program from the top and go through it again. Each time, x will be one number less and will output x until the number is 0, in which case it will just end the program. To define a section, give it a name before on the line you want to read it from. To call the section, you place its name after the instruction. So we're going to just show you here. So as you can see, I've defined the word loop here. And it won't, it won't affect whatever is on that line, but basically we've defined that when loop is called, it will just run from here. So at the bottom here we say loop, so it will just go back to up here. Here we've defined end, so basically when end is called here, it will just go down to here. And it will just end the program like we wanted. We could also change this so that instead of the word loop, we can use any other word we want like that. As long as we've called it the same here. And if we run that program, it will work fine. I also want to show that you can change the program, so if we change y to the number 2, it will basically um, output the from 10 to 2 going down in multiples of 2. And we could also just keep that as 1, but instead change this. So if we wanted to make this 20, it will run the program and output from 20 all the way to 1. 